today I'm going to show you the emergency, active emergency braking system we have in this uh, all new BMW X3 series. Um, it's going to be a presentation on our, a new part of our test track here, where we, which we built for especially ADAS testing at advanced driver assistance systems. Today we're focusing on frontal situations. But one important thing to note here is that our system is actually designed for the distracted driver. So if you're an active driver, you're paying attention to the traffic, you're watching the road, you're a good driver, normally the system is designed to not interfere with you. It might give you occasionally a short warning, then telling you you're a bit too close, or maybe the car in front of you is braking heavier than you, ex yeah. than you expected. But if you are distracted, we get our warning cascade and braking. Is and everyone answer. is distracted once or twice or several times. Or exactly. Twice. Every, and exactly. There's no, and there's no good driver. Our philosophy here is, like I said, to get the driver back involved. If the scenario is correct, he hopefully will step on the brakes as well. If he steps on the brakes and he's braking too less, we will support him. We will increase the brake pressure to avoid the collision. In general, um, a lot of our AB systems are currently uh, set by regulations um, and also by NCAP institutes and testing facilities. They're trying to get a minimum amount uh, for every car on the same level. But our philosophy is to get the best function for the driver, which by the way fulfills all these requirements as well. So the, the driver has a, a function he can rely on. Hopefully he doesn't have to use it as it is an emergency braking. So you see here I'm driving constant, I'm not aware and the system is doing all the braking itself. I'm off the pedals, I'm doing nothing. It's a smooth braking, it's it is. get harder and harder. We avoid the situation and once we reached zero delta velocity, we open the brakes so we don't go to a full stop if it's not necessary. Okay. Because that might be dangerous for the car behind us. You also may have seen that the car in front of us started flashing its indicator. It's our other safety function for rear end collision warning where you the driver doesn't notice anything, but uh, the, the hazard indicator are flashing even faster than normal to get me as a distracted driver running up yeah. here. Another note, hey, you're too close and you're coming in too hot. <laughs> I was about 80 kph. Mm, as said, we're having a customer-oriented function, so I'm not using limiter sometimes, so just having any, any velocity I have set already. And you see, now I'm doing nothing and now I can roll after the car. So up to 80 kbh there should be a reaction, that's what NCAP is demanding from us. And now we're doing more than 80 kbh and hopefully the target will stay long enough here in place. Looking good, now we get a warning and the braking. And as we decrease the velocity by a big amount, the hazard lights will also switch on and indicate for the car behind us. So if you're not the perfect driver and you don't, you're not going to have a perfect overlap, we will also issue a warning. Actually, whenever we, we can assess the situation and think it's useful to issue a warning and a braking, we will do so. Even if it's maybe a little bit too late or we won't avoid the collision completely, but at least we try to reduce the speed. So reduce the veloci velocity and energy and therefore there is not such a serious injury, hopefully, after that. We also try to understand if someone wants to go by. And even if it's very close, we do not issue anything. So you might, you can lose your mirror, side mirror on a on the parked car, but you won't get a warning now. So what I'm doing now is now I start braking before the system will break, but my braking is not enough to avoid the collision, and then the system will help you increase the the deceleration to don't have a collision. Now I'm on the brake, and now you see the the braking got harder. So uh, this scenario, I don't want to say too much, uh, to make it a little bit of a surprise, but um, yeah, it's also a common situation and sometimes quite critical. So as you are distracted as a driver, uh, you're talking to a passenger um, and then there suddenly there's a car coming from the right side and you, you don't have enough time to brake. And that was the system. Now this is our new newest addition, this is new in this generation, it's the Turner Cross Path um, warning function. So basically you as a driver driving slow speeds, you want to do a left or right hand turn, you're slowing down and then you do the turn but you totally overlook the oncoming traffic. 
So in this situation, the system will also warn you and brake. And I'm behaving like a good driver, so I also set the indicator because I now want to turn to the left. Um, and now maybe I've seen my spot and I decided, okay, yeah, that's where I want to go. And now I got the warning in the braking. It has to be this harsh so we avoid slipping or sliding into the oncoming traffic. It's not always possible, especially in higher speeds or if the driver continues to steer. Um, but in general, we, we have to be this hard to avoid the collision. Otherwise, we have to depend on the oncoming traffic to swerve a little bit around us. But nevertheless, I think it's quite, quite good to come to a full stop here and let the traffic pass instead of try to run it. Mm -hmm.